and then three. As I said, three separate payments, therefore three separate times the money is moving. If we have three separate times, we have three separate ends. And therefore, we have N2 is equal to T2 times the number of compounds. We know that T2 is 1.5. And we know that the number of compounds per year is 4. So that gives us 6. And now we're going to figure out N3 as well, which is T3. Notice that I'm doing exactly the same thing repeatedly. I'm showing my formula how I solved it. So T3 is 3.5 times the number of times that it's compounded, which is 4. And now that we've cleaned it up, N1 is equal to 2 because this chunk of money we head to here. And remember, n is equal to the number of compounds times the time. So it's 4 times 0.5. And n2, or the second payment, is moving back. So n2 is equal to 6. And finally, the third payment is moving from here all the way back to here. And so the time is 3.5, and you're number of compounds per year is 4. Well, that's where we get the 3.5 times 4 is 14. The interest rate is 0 0.016. Remember, interest is 6.4 given in the question divided by how many often it's compounded. So it's 0 0.016. The interest rate does not change in this question. As I said before, this money is moving forward, so it's a future value. So future value 1 is equal to the PV1 times 1 plus i to the power of n. Now, our first present value is 505. Be careful to change your percentages into decimals. Your N1 is equal to 2. Every question is a bed mass prep question. You have to do this part first. The number of times I've seen a person try to put this onto the equation calculator at once and then they get the wrong answer, that's what happens is because the calculator doesn't know to do this part first. And that equals 516.78. Something that I want you to notice, I kept this to six decimal places. Too often people will just cut it down to two too quickly. Don't want to do that. It's going to cause routing errors. FV1, that is complete. We found FV1, so I put it in the list of things that we know. Clean the question up, because as I said before, and I'm going to keep saying it, is we never want to lose sight of what we're looking at. And now we have to find PV2 and PV3. PV2, because this payment has to move back to right now, and the 487 
also has to move to the focal date. All your money has to be at exactly the same time. So the equation for PV2 is PV2 is equal to FV2 times 1 plus periodic interest to the power of negative n. Because we're going back in time, that's why it's negative. Note that this number is occurring in the future, so it's actually considered a future value. So PV2 is equal to 262 times 1 plus point zero one six. We've already found this number. It was 6.4 divided by 4, and then negative n2 is negative 6. Remember, every question is a bed mass question. This has to be done first to get to this number. And so, the present value of the second payment, because we're taking this payment, Moving it back to here, it makes sense that it should be a little bit less. It's $238.20. We're almost done. So PV3 because this money has to move back to here, back to the focal date is the future value of the third payment that occurs in the future. One plus i to the power of negative n3 because we're going back in time. We have the formula. Plug the numbers in. So the future value is 47. The interest is 0 0.016, it does not change, and the n is 14. So you solve this, gives you that, and finally, PV3 is equal to 389.20. Almost done. Clean it up again. Remember, you never want to lose sight of the question. The question wants to know what is the total amount of money at the focal date at this point after two years. So the total is equal to your FV1 which you now have, plus your PV2, which you have just figured out, plus your PV3. All the money is at exactly the same time. So future value is 516. Your present values, or the money is moving back, are $238.20. And at three hundred and eighty nine dollars and ninety six cents, it has moved back. Add them all together, it gives you one thousand one hundred forty four dollars and ninety four cents. This is your final answer. This is your single equivalent payment. You're almost done. Now you just have to do the happy dance. I got it. I'm done. Hooray. Yes.